Good morning, everybody. My name is Billy Blanks. You guys might know me by Tybo. Your mom probably used to do Tybo when you were probably was a little baby. Or maybe when you was in your mom's stomach, you might have heard some music in the basement or in the living room, her practicing Tybo. I just want to say to you guys, give me, thank you for giving me an opportunity to come into your classroom and work you out this morning. Today, I want to start you off with a little bit of Taekwondo. The only reason why I say Taekwondo is because Taekwondo is a workout that will help you learn how to focus. It helped me as a child and made me become who I am today. So I want to start you off with some basic fundamentals, okay? So I want you to open your legs up a little bit further, shoulder width apart. Place your hands here, what we call chin in the cage. Put your chin in the cage. Squat down like you're sitting in a chair. Now the first thing I want you to do is you're going to do side to side. Side to side. You're going to go side to side, working those abs. So when I say go, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, okay, it might not feel like something, but watch when you in the get up in the morning, you're gonna feel your abs. But I need for you to count out real loud. Are you ready? Now, let's try it again. Go left to right, ready? Go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more set, count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, hold your hands in speed back position. Working the hands up and down, circling that wrist. Working on your tricep. At the same time, I want your left leg to go. Watch, you're gonna go one, tap, two, three. Okay, start moving those legs. Now start circling those arms. There you go. Now count out loud. One, count it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more set. Go. One, count it. Two, circle. That's it. Work it. Five, six, seven, and hold that position. Good. Now, what I want you to do is take your right leg, your left leg, actually, turn it this direction. Push your right leg out in front. Place your hands here. Let's work on those abs from the side. When I say one, let's do a knee lift. And remember, you gotta touch that ankle. Don't do it like this. Really lift that knee up where you work that ankle, where you work those abs. Are you ready? Let's do one set of eight. Five, six, seven, count. One, two, three, that's it. Four, count it. Five, six, seven, one more time. Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Good job walking out. Now you'll notice when you work out, check it out. It's cool. When you start to work out, watch your heart. It'll start pumping a little bit faster. Why? Because you're circulating blood throughout your whole body. So it makes your heart want to pump faster. That's how you can tell you're getting in better cardio shape. When you can count and work out at the same time. So let's try it again. You guys ready? Hold that position. Now turn to the right. Hands are up. Ready? And count. One. Two, count it. Three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. Eight, count it. One, two, I don't hear you. Three, that's it. Count it, guys. Work it. Two, one more set. Count it. One, that's it. Two, work it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. All right, now let's do one power exercise. Are you ready? Now you got your chair. I want you to stand in front of your chair just like this. Open your legs up a little bit further, shoulder width apart. Place your hands here. Now barely touch your bum, your bum to the chair. You're gonna go touch and right back up. I need to do 25 of those. Are you ready for this? Let's work on those power legs. Ready? Go. One, touch. Two, go. Three, come on. Four, I don't hear you. Five, six, that's it. Seven, eight, go. One, count it. Two, that's it. Three, work it. Four, come on. Five, I don't hear you. Six, work it. Seven, come on. Eight, one more. One, count it. Two, count it. Three, Four, count it, five, six, seven. One more, hold on eight, hold on eight. Let me see your power, hold on eight. Feel those legs? Who has the power? You or those legs? Do you wanna quit now? Sometimes that's the way your homework feels. You feel how you wanna sit down and quit and give up when things get a little too hard? Don't do that. See how you fighting to hold yourself up? That's the way you gotta do when the homework gets that tough, you gotta fight to be the best. So keep up the good work. All right, stand up, shake your legs out. Good job. Now, here's the one I want you guys to work on. Sit down in your chair. Now, what, what I want you to do, put your legs out like this. Don't straighten them, but you're gonna come out in this position. I'm gonna turn my chair around so you can see. You're gonna come out in position, keep the legs bent, and you're gonna go down, back up, down, Back up, down, back up, down. One more time, one, that's it. Two, stay focused, come on. Three, I know your arms are shaking. Four, but don't quit, come on. Five, work it. Six, 
Come on. Seven. Come on. Good job. All right. This is how we're going to end. Open legs up. Place those hands out. Now, let me see your power. Sit down on those legs. Hold that position. You ever see the story of Karate Kid? Mr. Miyagi made the Karate Kid go through a lot of stuff. Why did he do that? Because he wanted to build, him, build his power up, and he wanted him to know how much power that he had. So hold those hands up. Yes, your legs gonna stop shaking, but you gotta focus in, not on your legs. Focus in what's gonna make you have power. That's your mind. Straighten those legs out. Sit down. Hold that position. Don't quit. That's it. Stay focused. Good. Pop up. Pull your legs in. Push the palms down. Bring it up. Push it out. Bring it back. Take a bow. Whoosh. Okay. I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to come into your classroom. Remember, some days you might not feel like working out, but you know what the best thing is to do? You need to work out. If you work out, it'll make you feel better. Keep eating right. You guys are doing a really good job now eating. Now, add to your eating a good exercising program. And that's what I want to do with you today. So keep up the good work. Don't quit. Keep fighting the good fight because you got the power to do that. I'll see you later in the next workout. Bye-bye.